Do you feel that EU4 is an old game? Well, well, let me show you how this game looked like in 2013, one of the first of its versions. Let's take a look at this beautiful map. I'm gonna take you through the time machine to go and play as a lovely nation of Burgundy. Before we start, remember that you can subscribe to this channel to get notified about all the future videos and obviously support us growing. First thing that I noticed, and it really hurts me, I've lost my map modes. I have to recreate them when I go back to 1.34, which I will because I'm playing multiplayer tomorrow. But this is fine. The map looks, uh, well, beautiful and ugly at the same time. You know, we are used to 1.34 map mode, which is great. But when you think that this map mode was here nine years ago, it's really not that bad. Same as you know, so many buttons missing at the top. Uh, that's what was here, power projection. I don't see marines and probably a hundred different things that I forgot about. So let's take a look again. Now we're gonna get powers uh, at the government. We have feudal monarchy. There's, uh, uh -huh, I can change government for, but a little bit different way than right now. This is interesting. Five. Five, five for Philippe de Bourbon. France is actually starting in this timeline with the war against England. So that's also interesting. And of course, they are starting with, yes, Kors or Lander Place, both of their vassals and on England. So they're gonna be absolutely strong very soon. As for the economy, let's generate a little bit more of the mana by taking. What the hell? Why I only have the freaking stab cost modifier, guys? Let's take uh, the level 2 guy, the one that is younger. Here I'm gonna take the diplomatic reputation so I will get some alliances. And for the meal advisors, I'll take the land maintenance. What's interesting? There's no way to improve this advice. I think this is from one of the DLCs. This does not mean I have to money leaders. That means that I can recruit Alir. So let's go and recruit one. Oh! Oh! Ah! I click it twice because in uh, nowadays you have to confirm that you're recruiting a general. It's fine. At least this guy is having two siege. How about economy? Economy is doing great. Let's just send our ships to protect trade. Where's English Channel? There's no English Channel. There's huge. When I go, and you can't see anything when you scroll out. <laughs> Let me scroll Ugh, closer. Antwerpen is huge and London is so small. Same as the North Sea, the Slubeck, yes. Genoa is massive, Bordeaux is massive. It's nowhere close to the joke of a nose that it is in 1.34. And actually goes two ways instead of one. And actually Antwerpen is an end note. This is just so beautiful, yes. We still have, no, we have two end notes. It's only Antwerpen and Venice. Guys, I in the next Paradox Quiz, I'm gonna ask the question. What were the end notes? In 1.0 patch, it was Antwerpen and Venice. Nothing against Genoa is going into three directions. It's funny, I was having my game turn on my Razer player, and I'm, I'm seeing the music of game is playing in the headphones. I cannot switch it. <laughs> okay, okay, I need to switch it in OBS as well. I hope it will not be too loud for you guys, uh, but we'll see about that. You can see that armies is not like 26,000, just 26 and 1. And I do really remember when I don't switch. I have no idea when, but I was so confused. There are thousands now, not just the little numbers. And I also think that was fairly late, like 2016, 2015, that, whole, that change was introduced. I'm just guessing right now. Another thing that was introduced later is deving. You can see there's absolutely no deving. I have just base taxing uh, promise. And no, the promise is not so rich. It's not showing monthly income, it's showing yearly income instead. And I could remove it from the HRE. How about the HRE? Yeah, the good old pre emperor actually. No, I'm joking. The emperor HRE is far better. And also the old Holyssey, which is also tragic. Anyway, we have mission to select. Yes, the old. Mission trees. I have free to choose. Uh, save Burgundian people in Vout. That will give me a claim on Savoy. Formal lines on Cologne. On spread culture in Picardy. I think I'll go for the war with Savoy. So to conquer this province. And the liquor act is something that we don't really need. And I cannot mark it as something that I don't want to take. It's not possible. Also, there are no estates. Just a little, like, so much less military modifiers in this place. And as I don't have much of manpower, let me first boost my stability to one. I would like to focus on army, but I cannot. And I'm gonna start building mercs. And here I'm for y'all. The good old mercs gonna be built by me. For now, 2000. And then I'm gonna get access from Provence. 
And I'm gonna... I'll have to wait on day. <laughs> I wanted to use Macro Beetle to get allies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Macro Beetle is weak. Why don't I go and ally... Uh, no, the questions. Who we want to ally? Let's ally Poland. But what is funny? Right now we have to wait till 11th of December to declare wars. <laughs> no, on this version. Let's... Uh, mm, this is a problem. I mean, I can't fight Austria. I'm just wondering, is that an interesting thing? Is Austria calling allies in this version in case of the war? I assume yes, but uh, anyway, let's uh, just wait for what, what's gonna happen. I cannot fight this war. Ah, yes, I can get the rivals. What's funny, getting a rival cost me 10 Diplo points. <laughs> and I don't have a list of rivals. I have, I think, to choose on someone on the map. Who rivaled me? Austria. Let's rival Austria. Guys, that worked. Let's rival France. And uh, who are rivals of France? Castile. Okay, and let's rival, I don't know. Can I rival anyone? Like Savoy? I can't even rival Savoy. Can I ally like, Castile or England now? Let's... I cannot. We were at war. Let's start improving relations with Castile then. When I'm declaring war, there's also no possibility to just see the amount of the troops that someone else. And... Why do I it's not... It's, <laughs> the thumbnail, the outline is not saying what the diplomat is doing, it's just a flag. <laughs> Let's start building spine network on uh, Champagne. And it's just gonna give me... If I, okay, if this guy is gonna get actually expansion, there's a risk of discovery 1% and it's gonna take exactly one year to make this claim. It's like, I prefer the new process of spy network. I'm gonna also stop paying for my army as I'm not using it for anything. And I'm gonna stay and think because, yeah, declaring yeah, Savoy is just out of the picture right now because they are protected by freaking HRE. Can pretty much only expand into France, which seems like a suicide. It seems that I improved relations with Castile enough. Let me go and make alliance instead. And I was already thinking, oh yes, I should carry favors to get Castile to help me against France. But that's not how it works over here. Let's just wait and see. Yeah, yeah. I would like everything you've got still, but you gotta help me in a war against France. So if I declare co willing allies. Hey guys. Guys, both Poland and Castile want to help. <laughs> I just need of course to wait for the claim first. It's saying I can invest in a cardinal, but since Papa influence to vote for this uh, future cardinal, left click to spend five points, influence and five vote for this future cardinal, but I would love to vote for my... I mean, okay. The guy with the most votes uh, is gonna get the cardinal, I guess. So if I click on Oliva... Hey, I'm gonna get the cardinal this way. Let's maybe get an alliance with Pope. Yes, he loves me. I know how it works, but I already have um, more mercs that I could recruit. Let's just start doing so because I want to get ready like only for the war against France. Of course, you don't see that you have a leader on the army until, unless you just go hover over it. Yeah, here I have a leader which is uh, to siege and here's my ruler leader. Let's go and declare on France. Conquest of uh, Champagne. Call Papa still will not join, but this is fine. Now what's funny, you might looking... Eh, oh, no, no, no. Oh, I wasn't paying for my army and it's not even visible over here. Uh, let's maybe go one step back. <laughs> so I'll not fight. And remember, guys, first of all, I can just go however I want for the country. Because uh, there are no, like, forts. I mean, there are forts on every province. <laughs> but these forts are not blocking any movement. I can go wherever I want and how I want and I also have to siege down every single province. So level 2 forts if the France is level 3. Of course it's easier to siege down than in the modern days but it's still pain in the ass. Let's go and get ready to find these guys here without rushing. I'm baiting them to attack in hideout but it's not a good province to fight on. Let's maybe bait them to Cambrai because this is a woods province. So yes, if they attack me in woods they're gonna be terrible baited to fight on minus two battle. <laughs> Three point minus one morale. Oh my god, France. Okay, at least they're getting devastated here, right? So, uh, yes, they've lost far more troops. Let's go and start seeing these guys down. And remember, England is still at war, so I might help them with a little bit of a comeback. If I wanted to raise taxes, 
it's not like two points monthly, it's 50 points for two years and it's only giving client maintenance modifier. I feel like AI is a little bit more stupid than now. France is getting baited to attack me, Combray. Oh, they changed their mind. There's no such thing as movement locked. Guys, they're not getting movement lock. I need to, yeah, get them in the province and then start reinforcing for proper battle. They are so strong. Getting destroyed until I reinforce these battles, but they're still losing more. So that's at least some good news for us. Oh no, guys, I can't even see the losers on each of the sides. And why Poland did not join? They changed their mind. I mean, at least we have Castile that is <laughs> running around the south in France now. Whoa, 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 whoa. They were about to attack 30,000 of French troops. I'm glad they changed their minds. I was seriously thinking about asking AIs to attach to army, but there's no such button over here. I also don't want to talk more about, like, how AIs are useful, but Castile just got their whole army wiped. There's no such thing as Castilian Army, they had 60,000. Well, 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 I guess I have to go and uh, build more of the Mercs. Let me even take two loans, it's gonna be worth it in the long term. And start building additional 6,000 of Mercs. You know what, I'm only losing six ducats monthly. Let me take another loan and let's recruit another 2,000 of Mercs. Oh my god, guys. I wanted to exchange the advisors to get the discipline on morale guy, but I can't. If I'm lucky, I'm lucky. I cannot change it. And here I have too many leaders. Just get rid of this one. Well, guys, at least there's a feature to decrease the war exhaustion, so I'm gonna do that. Let me go and take a battle in Charolais. Okay. I'm gonna leave 2000 to keep the siege here. And go reinforce it with the rest of the army. Yeah. They're gonna be here on the 9th of July. Can I win before 9th of July? Come on, yes. Is there a feature of Scorching Earth? No. And I'm not gonna do this mistake because I was doing a little test run and you cannot shift consolidate on this game. Can I run away? I will be during the 9th of July. They'll be here also 9th of July. Now the question is who is gonna have the preference? We have the preference, but we are still getting attacked. 15th of July, 17th of July, 15th, 16th. 16th, 16th, I'm gonna get attacked and I have really low morale on this uh, troops. Let's see, maybe on we can win on the numbers. Because quantity, quantity, no, I don't think quantity is gonna win this. You start running away. You also start running away. We've lost actually more troops in this battle. Now this is fine, we just had low morale. In general, we are winning this war. Maybe except Castile getting wiped all the time. Let's for a change go and attack them Why they having low morale. Of course I had as well, but yes, stack wipe. I think that's easy as stack wipe than 1.33. What I'll do, I'll separate all of the mercs and I'm gonna get all of the manpower troops in one place because I'm out of manpower, meaning that I can go and consolidate all of these manpower troops. And uh, Marx, we can build more Marx. Let me take another loan. And hello, hello. This is the more Marx I can build. Very much. Oh, okay. They have fifteen thousand troops left. Uh, let me go and start sieging this down. It should be far easier now. Okay, now I understand this uh, Castilian strategy. They just wanted France to lose all of the manpower, and you know, all of the uh, them and the allies is just like fifteen k troops. I can go and siege them. Paris right now. Even ledger is more simple. I cannot just go and filter nations. I can, and I cannot see myself. I'm here. I have 20k troops. Where's France? Is there France? Are you feeling okay? Yeah, they have 7.80 thousand troops. Thanks to us, at least England uh, got pissed out, and they only lost these provinces, and they could have lost more. Okay, guys. I think uh, I'm gonna take this one more fort, and I'm gonna get out of this war. This is it for me. That even engaging on me. Come on, reinforce, reinforce, just make sure to win this one. Make sure to win this one. Make sure to win this one, they are outnumbering. The winning being outnumbered. Like, really, I'm gonna lose this battle. How? Let me get out of this war. Clear offer, only want these two provinces. And as much money is gonna accept, so it's gonna be this. 26 seconds expansion. I have no idea how this expansion works over here. Let me go and find the map mode for it. Yeah, this is fine. At least we connected our lands right now. We need to recover manpower next. I have no idea why, how to find where the rebels. Okay, here I see the rebels. They are champagne and the way they are. 
Vagabondo and Champagne only 9%. Manfred Chance, okay. There's nothing in Outliner. I cannot even add this in the Outliner. Oh, let's just decrease the war exhaustion. It's also hidden how to find the break statue, but it's here and I can start coring the provinces. Also, there's not that many provinces in this game and the game is faster. Let's maybe go and open the console. Yes, the console. T.I. Turn off the turn on and see the world around. <laughs> no guy, what? <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh my god, and QQ color. Oof. But at least I have huge team rates. India just seems so simple if you compare this. The amount of prize is 1.34, it's like completely different. At least this time Vijay is winning 1v1 with Bachmanis. Of course, a huge Ming, Manchu, a lot of provinces. No, I mean, there are huge provinces, but not a lot of them in the north here in Siberia. Uh, we have Atsek, Brunei, and Majapahit. As simple in Indonesia as can, it can be, of course, there's also Makassar. Okay, this is very simplified and as simplified as. Africa, <laughs> look and see, like look how big of a journey this game came in the last nine years. It's a completely different game. I oh, I sometimes get the comments, oh, you force a nine years old game, it's that time for you five. Then when you think how much this game changed the last nine years, same with the player base, which is still, if not the same, it's increasing. No, the game is not even close to be dead. Let's in the meantime start fabricating clay on Provence because I want to keep fixing the borders around here. I didn't show the ideas of Burgundy. I have cheaper mercenary maintenance. That's why it was so good for us to take mercs. We have calf combat ability, but 5%? What is 5%? In the meantime, if I go to the Ottomans, they start with freaking 10% Discipline and 33% Core Creation Con. If, if you're saying Ottomans are OP right now, no, they were OP, they are no longer as OP as they were. Look, they have cores all around the place. But yeah, moving forward, we have Prestige, Mercenary Cost, uh, Available Mercs, that was extremely overpowered modifier in the past. But right now it's just, I think, Mercs burn power in 1.34, which is useless. 10% Discipline, National Trading Con modifier. National Trade Income Modifier, that's something that we don't have right now. Tolerance of Heretics and Manpower. When I declare war, guys, it's like funny, I, I can't even decide who to call. I can call all of the allies or none of them. And I'm gonna go call all of them, it's gonna be Castle Pop and Venice that will help me against Provence itself. Take a look at the buildings macro -bitter. Basic buildings and I have the armory, which is plus 25 flat manpower, local recruit. What? 25 is like nothing! Why would I build that? But well, at least it costs 50 ducats, so yeah, let's let's go and get one. And one of the coolest feature on this patch is of course the Western, right? And Western, my technology is cost normally, but if I go to Poland, you'll see that, for example, there are Eastern, I cannot tell you how much more, I think they're paying 20% more. And each tech group, the more we go farther east, the more they pay. I think it's like plus 100% for Ming and VJ. And uh, you have to westernize to pay the normal amount of the mana for the technology. So very soon you'll see how behind all of these nations will be in the technologies. I wanted to take war approaches in a separate piece with Milan. But there's, there's just no such thing. Like, let me take just... Like... <sighs> The old money peace deals! I forgot about these guys! In old peace deals, you could only take the amount of the money that they had in the treasury. So you counter the situations where from France you could take 10 ducats and from Lübeck you could take 10,000 ducats because they had so much in the treasury. This is so useless. Let me... That's at, at, at least breaking the relations is giving prestige. So that's at least something. And it's giving us all of the prestige. It's not splitting between the allies. <laughs> So many weird changes. I think Provence should be also good to peace out. And probably I'm, like, I'm gonna only take this one province because if I take this or this, it's like a lot of, I guess, expansion. And 30 hit tackets into Provence. Can I at least release anything? Return course? No, 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 not to France. Maybe transfer trade power. They're not gonna accept it unless, uh, yeah, just take, just take money. That's it. Thank you so much. Let's take a look at expansion now. Still, I think it's all good. These buildings are just so terrible. Low market plus is local trade power plus one. Flat. 
And I have them actually on default in a lot of prices. Let's take more of <laughs> Just so weird. Let's find there's also no such thing as autonomy in the provinces. So I assume it's... You all just get all of the modifiers, right? The way how it works. Why is it zero? Unlawful territory is actually decreasing it. Okay. And I did not even start coring it because I forgot you can start coring. Okay. It's time to unlock the first idea group. And I don't know what it's gonna be. <laughs> like... Let's see, aristocratic ideas, calf cost, uh, cost man power. That actually does not change that much for the years. How about quantity? 50% manpower, calf cost, manpower cover speed, ID, fat, uh, okay, okay, artillery cost, land force limit, 33%. Uh, infantry compatibility, like, okay, this, uh, b b b b this is 15% discipline from quality. 25% manpower from defensive, oh my god, guys, this is a tough choice, uh, I think that I they have no idea what to do. There's no influence ideas, there's no expansion ideas, they, I mean, the expansion is in the diplomatic and there's no... There's ex both expansion exploration are in diplomatic? Naval is in diplomatic instead of uh, military, oh, guys. Oh, guys, I have no idea what's happening here. And now I'll go for Adby for even more mercenary bonuses. My truce with uh, France just ended right now, a little bit better prepared. I have 20,000 marks at the very start. Uh, so in total I have 42,000 troops, France has 20,000. Let me declare the war. I don't have a claim. <laughs> Let's create a claim. That's gonna be for any trade. There's no such thing as a trade center. <laughs> I was looking from. Okay. Let's instead go for a claim on Lyonnais. And I can take the first idea, which is mercenary cost. Let's look right now. For Mercs, we are paying 10.5 ducats. But with this idea, this cost is dropping to. I think it's the cost to recruit the Mercs, actually. So this costs me. For, I have no idea, I guess. Uh, um, anyway, we just made a claim of France. So I started paying for armies. That's good of mercenary companies. Available mercs. Oh my god, guys. I could, recruit, I could recruit far more of them, but I don't truly really have to. Look. I have the biggest army in the world. France is nowhere close. Let's wait another month tick to recover morale and declare. Oh, you didn't call my allies. I have to call them manually. Number one, you don't want to come. You don't want to come. You don't want to come, so at least we have a little bit of help. I mean, you know what Cassie is gonna do. Let's go with these two stacks and attack straight in Ild of Hons. And I need to vote for my cardinal seeds. Five influence is five more votes. And uh, when the cardinal dies from this list, a new cardinal from this list will get into his place. And of course, it will be controlled by a guy with the highest amount of votes. And of course, uh, Pope is like drunk. They are just attack Austria and they think that I'm gonna help them. Uh, I am getting attacked here. I mean, if I reinforce the Fumura army, I should win it easily. Especially that I have tech 5, they have tech 4. Come on, army quality, let's go! No, I'm losing that. Let's see actual the losers. The losers were similar. Oh, so this event is like really old. The last Justing tournament is that the event that gives 10% of armies for 10 years? Isn't it like 20 in vanilla? Whoa, 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 do you guys see this monster? Like, don't, why don't you have a, like, collision against you or something? You can hurt more than me. And once again, Castillo has absolutely no troops. They just killed everything in this war. I think it's a good moment to peace out. I don't want to overextend this war. I don't have that much of, I guess, expansion to spend. Take this to provinces, uh, 83 decas that they have. That's gonna make our borders even more beautiful. And let's find a place where I can start coring the provinces. Uh, what? France is doing the coalition. Like, they're breaking all of the rules. First of all, they have truce with me. So in 1.34, they couldn't join the coalition. Here they can. And second of all, they had just 30 AE. You need at least 50 in 1.34 to join the coalition. What? Why Provence declared war on France? Can you even win this? Of course you can't. Why, why AIs are doing suicide wars like Provence against France? Papal state against Austria, and our ruler just died, so we are left with freaking 204. Last thing I want to do today is to clear the borders. I'm gonna attack Leash, that is gonna be protected by Austria, but who is gonna help me? Venice and just Venice. We'll see if that's gonna be enough, but at least I have the last Justin tournament as the event, and oh, I have a good leader. 
have last I have last justin tournament and I have a tech advantage because all she is still on tech four and who are we fighting? Just Austria, 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 Austria. We can come on, come on. That can be a stack wipe. Uh. Oh. Okay, I've killed far more of the troops, but I did not wipe them. Somebody forgot again to pay for the troops. It's just so misleading. It's not showing that I'm not paying for these troops. Wait a second. Poland was allied to me, but apparently they joined sides of Austria. What the hell is happening in this game, guys? It didn't tell me that they're gonna join. Uh, they have less troops in theory, but I need to help Venice quick. Otherwise, these guys will be screwed. Why don't I go and send this 20k to help? These guys will live together here. No, Venice, don't die. Don't die, Venice. They're dying hard. At least Koblenz is down. I can send even more troops. Let's send both of these two stacks. I can't reinforce them, right? It's too late. Can I can't even watch this battle? Guys, I'm clicking. Nothing. I, I can't watch the battle that I'm not into. Well, that's unlucky. This at least... Oh no, it's about to save Venice from being wiped. That was too late. Let's not be too late with the battle in Verona. Because it might be the decisive battle, battle of this war. Come on. Just win here. We're winning with both Austrians and Polish troops. And look at our losses. Okay, they look bad. But they've lost some on the calf. So it's even Steven. In any case, yes. That's really war for us. Now we are the... Def Why? I forgot about this. As there are no forts on this patch. And they arrived on the same day, but before us. I am fighting minus three, none of them. I thought that it's Phoenician province, not occupied by Austria. We are gonna be the defenders, but it's like completely other way around, and we are losing this battle hard. We are losing this battle hard, guys. Oh my god, this battle is so long because the combat is so small. Because on these patches, I believe. You can see mountains are decreasing the combat by half, so the mountain battle is just taking freaking forever. Forever of forever. And they reinforce you with 1k stacks. No, this 1k stacks just change nothing, right? This battle is not going for. Oh my god, why did I attack on minus 3? Oh, bad decision making, guys. They're attacking me 46,000 troops in Lienz. Knowing my luck, even though I am here first. I'll be the attacker again. Let's go and reinforce this. I mean, what's the combat with? Remember, the combat with. It's uh, right... Where is combat with? I'm gonna see when they attack. Okay, they are minus two. But I don't have a laser. Oh my god. Combat with is currently only 11. So only... A reason for me to reinforce... Is to get a leader over there. And with smart reinforcements, I'm completely gonna... Did I just get a Cardinal? Yes! I've got my first Cardinal. Look, Combat with is 11. I still have 7,000 troops in reserves. I don't have to reinforce that. Not even close, nope. I won't even have to reinforce that. I can just keep my second stack next by... They overstacked a lot. Which makes me win this battle. Very easy, just in case. Can go... Reinforce with uh, these troops. Yep, easy peasy. It's crazy how easy it is to end on this patch. I have 58 of 43,000 troops and I just pay 7 ducats monthly. On the current patch, 1.44, that would probably be like 20 ducats or 30 ducats monthly. So my balance is just minus 14. And this is even though I, I can't even check how many mercs I'm running. But I'm pretty sure most of my army are mercs. I can't. I can beat only one more K. This is it, boys. I, I'm almost able to actually beat out Poland after this war, if I offer tribute, no. Let me just go and take this one province, because it was all about one province and fixing the borders, so it's beautiful for the thumbnail, because I love to show you the thumbnail what I actually had in game. So guys, this is definitely it. <laughs> I don't have energy for more, look at this Pomerania. If you did enjoy this kind of type of content, so you know, improvising not only typical gameplay let me know by liking this video and subscribe to the channel to get notified about the future content for today thank you so much for watching and i'm gonna see you very soon